everybody, welcome to uh, How To Angora. I was asked to show how to flip and do belly stuff on a rabbit while standing up. Um, say your rabbit is really big. This is Deb. She is almost 12 pounds. She is a giant Angora. And I'm not a small person, but she barely fits in my lap. So I'm going to show you how to get the underbelly with a rather large rabbit. Uh, waist high table. It's very useful. You can do it with a shorter one. You'll be bending over and you'll probably make your back sore. Um, I like to put a towel just for some padding. You can even double up and put pillows so that kind of cradles them when they're on their back. So I have her by her chest and her butt. Gives her plenty of support. You can see she's not too worried. And you can roll them over. I kind of use my arm like cradle them like a baby for support and you can set them down. And Deb is very used to this in fact uh, she barely fits on this particular table. <laughs> and she just goes completely floppy. I'm gonna clean up her belly just because she can get a little mad at there. I know you didn't like your head hanging off and uh, that's one way you can do it. Uh, if they are thrashing Let's say you have a bad bunny. You kind of bend down and hold them with your two arms like this. And you can do some of those same holds I mentioned earlier. If you keep control of the head and chest, you have control of the bunny. You can clean up these areas. A little bit of hay, a few mats. I'm gonna give her a nice buzz, check their feet. And then you can access the groin area if you need to. I know you're ticklish. Pop out a leg, pushing on that tendon to extend it. And with the towel, what's nice is you can rotate them how you need to. <laughs> Such a silly girl. She's giving me funny looks. And um, get to their different sides. Um, if you need to get to one side, you can gently push her over. Do it this way so you can see me. You can hold them still. Oop. So she doesn't really like feeling insecure, so she'll thrash. So I can hold her like this can move her over and get to that side. So I'm going to do some shaving on her. Let's flip you back up while I get my clippers. Um, I just flip them real quick. There's different ways to flip them back. I just pop them over. My rabbits are used to it. They don't fight me on it. Let's go and get my clippers. I know we're going to flip you again, sweetie. Under the chest, under the butt, rock them back onto you. Um, you can tuck the head underneath your arm again, or however you need to. And I'm not worried about conserving this fiber. I'm just going to get it off to keep her clean. She's a very, very dense girl. Again, being careful where the knee is. That's some thin skin there. Feel free to switch hands as you need to. Being careful not to cut the nipple, so I'm not going very deep. I can always go under again later and get deeper. Having a spot you can put your clippers, putting it here. So now we are going to work on the groin area. I've got her head down here by my elbow. So make sure you know where the vagina, anus, penis, all that is, so you don't nick them. You can lift up the mats a little bit. Again, remember, don't pull up. The skin is loose. You pull up the skin. You have a dense rabbit, a slightly matted rabbit. Uh, you're still learning your rabbit's body. It's very easy to nick the skin then. Uh, nobody wants to do that. Pop a leg out. Gently go along the inside. Gently go along the top. Uh, don't cut off the bottom floof on the feet. That is, actually protects the feet. Rabbits don't have fat pads in the bottoms of their feet like we humans and dogs and many other mammals do. So the floof provides padding, kind of like wearing a nice fuzzy slipper. Um, if it gets really matted, you can cut a little bit off, 
but always try to leave at least an inch or two on there. Alrighty, so now we've done that backside area. Let's get the chest. I continue to rotate my massive bunny. Make sure, uh, when they turn their head, they might be getting ready to struggle, so make sure it's back here. Um, ideally, my table would go out and I would have a support for her neck. I don't, I'm just gonna keep going. She's a good girl. Uh, go down. Remember I said the uh, skin on the armpit area is thinner, so be careful with that. And they tend to get mats there, so also keep an eye on it. Oop. Have a backup set of clippers. Almost done. You can bend the front legs down. Go up to that chest area. I'm not going to get too much because she's not really mad at there. Uh, some people like to keep the full underside naked for a sanitary cut, sometimes called a bikini cut. She doesn't really need it. And we're done. Roll your rabbit back up and let them hop around for being good bunnies and have some fun time. Thanks for watching.